we're very genuine as a club, as in Melbourne and Casey, about trying to develop our players and our people. So we've been able to develop staff members who come and get AFL opportunities as well as players on the AFL list. I can only claim we've been here for 18 months and been fortunate enough to have Lockhart and Wagner, but the time that Justin Platt put in here as coach was able to develop Tim Smith, Oscar McInerney, Declan Kildy and Bailey Fritch. So it's been a really good strike rate. I don't think anyone who does this job, you get a lot of pride out of seeing the players develop for one, but then really excel and, and go to higher honours. And um, I'm very close with Corey and Jay. They're almost like family for me, so I find it hard when it comes to AFL to talk objectively about them because of my relationship with them. But for them to come and perform at the level, first and second at the BNF last year for in a strong year for Casey, and then both be able to represent Melbourne. It's been a really good start to their careers, and now the hard work really kicks in to how much they really want it and how badly they want, they want to make it. I'd like to really sum, or judge someone over the course of the whole year and sometimes two years to get a feel for if they've got enough AFL attributes and qualities. We think we've got a couple. Uh, we really like Aidan Quigley, a guy from Yinna down in Gippsland and played for the Gippsland Power and was on the radar in his draft year but didn't uh, get selected. Really like what Liam Buxton's done so far from Vermont. We think Luke Mitch Lewis has got a lot of traits. That's just to name a few. We think Corey Machay has got a lot of traits. Unfortunately, he's done his ACL. So uh, we're very very passionate about our VFL list and it's proven in our pathway model at Casey and Melbourne that if you put the work in and embrace the program, the opportunities can be there if you have enough impact.